So this is the most important problem from beta and gamma functions using beta and gamma properties. So we are going to solve this. Here we have to show that integral 0 to pi by 2 root over tan theta plus root over secant theta into d theta is equal to half times of gamma 1 by 4 into gamma of 3 by 4 plus root pi by gamma of 3 by 4. So here let's get started to solve. So first of all it was given that integral 0 to pi by 2 root tan theta plus this is root secant theta of d theta and this can be written as so this is 0 to pi by 2 and this can be written as tan theta can be written as sin theta by this is cos theta and again secant theta can be written as 1 by this is cos theta into d theta so this is going to become that is integral 0 to pi by 2 and this is sin theta by cos theta whole power half d theta plus this is 0 to pi by 2 1 minus cos theta power half into d theta. Now this can be written as integral 0 to pi by 2 that is sin power half theta into cos power this is minus half theta into d theta. And the next one is this is 0 to pi by 2. This can be written as this is sin power 0x into cos power this is minus half into d theta. So we have an important uh, formula here. So in terms of uh, sin theta and cos theta that is integral 0 to pi by 2 that is sin power this is 2m minus 1 theta into d theta sorry cos theta into 2n minus 1 theta into d theta is equal to half times of beta of m comma n. So this is an important uh, formula. So when I compare with this in place of 2m minus 1 we have plus half and in place of 2n minus 1 we have minus half. In this both cases so I am going to derive m and n value. So in first case in place of 2m minus 1 we have half here. And in place of 2n minus 1, what is the power of cos? This is minus half. So in this equation, so in place of 2m minus 1, in place of 2n minus 1, this is sine power and this is sine power 0. When we compare, this is 0. And in place of 2n minus 1, we have minus half. So this is minus half. And now, 2m value is nothing but 1 plus half and 2m is equal to this is 3 by 2 and m value is nothing but 3 by 4. And here if you see 2n is equal to this is 1 minus half, 2n is equal to this is plus half and n is equal to 1 by 4. Here this is 2m is equal to 1 and m is equal to half. Here 2n value is 1 minus half. 2n value is nothing but half and n value is 1 by 4. 1 by 4. Now we have to substitute in this formula that is half times of beta mn. So for this case I am going to substitute as this is half times of beta m. What is m here? This is 3 by 4 comma 1 by 4 plus. So in place of this I am going to substitute as half times of beta mn. So here m value is half that is half times of beta this is half and n is 1 by 4. Now I am going to use an important relation between beta and gamma function. So the important relation between beta and gamma function is nothing but beta of m comma n is nothing but this is gamma n into gamma m into gamma n by this is gamma of m plus n if i substitute here so this will be half times of gamma of 3 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 4 by see here gamma of m plus n that is gamma of 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 and here so for this I am applying, I am transforming into gamma function. So this is half times of. So m comma n. So in place of m we have half here. That is gamma half. And in place of n we have n. 
1 by 4 gamma m into gamma n by gamma of m plus n. See here. So, this will be half times of gamma of uh, 3 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 4. And if I take uh, 4 as LCM, this will be 4 by 4. And here also, this is gamma half. And this is gamma of 1 by 4. By this is gamma of, if I take 4 as LCM, this will be 3 by 4. And now, so if I cancel, this will be 1. So, as you know that, everybody knows that gamma half value is nothing but root pi and uh, gamma 1 is again 1. So, gamma 1 is 1. If I substitute these two, this will be half times of gamma of 3 by 4 into gamma of 1 by 4. Gamma of 1 by 4, this is 1 and this is half times of in place of gamma half I am writing as root pi and this is gamma of 1 by 4 by gamma of uh, 3 by 4. So now if I take this uh, gamma 1 by 4 as common and half also common then see half times of gamma 1 by 4. So if I take this so this will be gamma of 3 by 4 plus so this will be root pi by gamma of this is 3 by 4. So, therefore, therefore, integral 0 to pi by 2, this is root over tan theta plus root secant theta of d theta value is nothing but half times of, this is gamma of 1 by 4 into, this is gamma 3 by 4 plus root pi by, this is gamma of 3 by 4. So, this is how we have to solve and this is so simple. If you see everything is easy here. So, tan theta is transformed in terms of sin and cos theta and we wrote in the form, in this form that is uh, sin power 2n minus 1 theta into cos power 2n minus 1 theta which is equal to half times of beta of mn. We got mn values and after that we substituted in half times of beta of mn. So, here is the relation between beta of beta and gamma function i transformed beta function into gamma function and using these two properties and uh, after uh, substituting gamma half as pi gamma half value as pi and gamma one value as one and see i have taken common um, pi uh, gamma of one by four and this remains so this is what it was asked to show that that is half times of gamma of half gamma of one by four half times of gamma of one by four into gamma of three by four See here gamma of 3 by 4 plus root pi by root pi by of gamma of 3 by 4. So this is so important. If you understand it will be very very easy. So this, these are the small small properties which you which you have to remember while doing. And thank you so much. If you practice definitely you can solve by your own. And thank you for watching and staying till the end. You know what to do. Please subscribe.